What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys three very easy and effective stretches that you can do to improve your squat. So if you've been following my channel, I'm making the switch from a low bar squat to a high bar squat and since I have done that, I have found myself getting exposed in the mobility department. My lower body is super tight, my hips are tight because I'm sitting most of the day just like I'm sure you guys are. So even if you're not squatting and you've just got some tight hips, these are some great stretches that you can do. It'll make you feel like a different person before and after you do these. So the first one here, you're gonna get a band, put it on a bar, a cable crossover, or you can just use a barbell like this above you. That was about seven feet tall, and you step through it, and you put it up by your groin. And this is a stretch that you can do with two people, but if you've just got one person, what I've been doing is putting a 45 pound plate on the leg where the band is, and then just leaning back and kind of hanging out in this position for around a minute. Again, you can have someone on top of you pushing down that leg, but this seems to work just fine for me. It really opens up my hip. So here it is at another angle, stepping through it with my left side this time, kind of getting position, and I'm butterflying my feet, kind of like a butterfly stretch. See how I'm adjusting them right there. Got the 45 pound plate, and I just lay back and hang out right there. And that really hits my adductors, my groin, and it makes the hips feel a lot more open. So the second stretch, and this is probably my favorite out of the three that I'm showing you guys today, really hammers the abductor or your glute even. It hits them both. You get a bench, you put one leg up on top of that, and then you just lean forward. And right here I'm pointing out where I'm really feeling the burn. Got my adductor, my glute coming into play here, and just kind of hanging out in this position. And to make it harder, if you really find yourself very flexible, you can move back your back leg like I just did right there. And that will give you even more of a stretch. And then if you want to take it another step further, you can start to lean over the bench and put your hands down onto the ground. Or what you can do is, if that feels too light, actually grab the bench and pull yourself into it and just really sink and feel the burn. And one thing about stretching, I mean, I'm just getting into it, getting my mobility down. You've got to be able to relax. It's hard to stretch when you're really, really tensed up. And the third and final stretch, and probably the most painful one for me, nails your hip flexors and your quad. And that makes sense because I'm sitting down so much, that area gets super, super tight. So what you do is you're gonna grab that same band you used for the first exercise, step through it, put that back foot on a bench. And if you don't have the mobility to do this, you can do it without a bench. I'll show you guys that at the end. But lean back in the direction of the leg that you are working. So for me right now, left leg back, I'm leaning back, I'm trying to flex my glutes, bring my hips forward, and I feel a deep stretch. Almost, almost painful, but it feels great when you are done with it. And here is that variation if you don't have the mobility. It's basically the exact same thing, but without a bench. And you can do all of these exercises, or at least the last two that I showed you guys, without a bench. You don't need a bench on the first one, but the second two, if you don't have a mobility, you don't have a bench, you can still stretch those same areas. So with enough doing this, enough mobility, it's like the yin to the yang. Like I said, I've been getting exposed in the mobility department, doing a lot of stuff to improve my squat. And it's far from perfect, it's a work in progress, but if we were good at everything in the gym, we would have nothing to work towards and to better ourselves, And then basically it would just be boring. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit the like button down below, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to try to make some more helpful videos and not just show you guys my day-to-day -day life. I want to provide content that is of value to you guys and just passing things that I am learning along the way to you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.